Look, do you have good muscle building genetics and want to put five pounds of lean body mass on your body quickly? Watch this. Our next caller is Anthony from Florida. Anthony, what's going on, man? How can we help you? Hey, guys. How you doing? I appreciate you having me on. Um, I love the podcast. You guys have given me a lot of great information just in this past few weeks. I, I actually just recently found you guys about a month ago, and uh, I found you at like the perfect time. So I'm going to give you like a quick background before I just jump into the the questions that I had, but basically like, you know, I've kind of been in and out of the gym, um, pretty much my whole life, but, um, I got to a point where, you know, I have young kids, um, my work kind of got crazy. I just got completely like out of shape for a while. And, um, you know, I'm five, eight and I got up to like 245 pounds. Like I was just kind of a mess, you know, and, uh, finally some things changed and I was able to really start taking care of myself. I, I had some time work got a little bit better for me. So, as soon as that happened, I was like, all right, time to get back into the gym, take care of myself. And um, I did the only thing I knew how to do, which was kind of just like jump right into a cut. Um, so in one year, I, I cut the whole time. I didn't like go in and out or take any breaks like I probably should have uh, just for lack of knowledge. And um, I went from 245 down to about 185 in that year. Um, started off, obviously, my calories were fairly high at the time. And I got down to like 1,900 calories. And um that was like probably about a month ago. And like, I just got to this point, like my workouts were just absolutely terrible. I felt like crap. Um, I didn't even want to, my, like I was weak. I didn't even really want to work out anymore. And I kind of knew in that moment, like, all right, I need to eat more or, or something's going on. So I started doing a little bit of research and that's right when I found like you guys talking about reverse dieting. So like that day, I literally went from 1900 calories to 2300 calories in within 24 hours. Like I felt just so much better just from that, that, uh, increase in my cal decrease in my calories right there. And then, um, so I kind of stuck with that cause I, cause I was like learning about the reverse diet and I didn't want to jump too fast. Um, so I, I did about, I'd say about 20 days at 2,300 calories and I actually lost weight. Um, I went from 188 and now I'm down to 183. Um, after about 15 days of that, I jumped up to 2,700. My strength just skyrocketed my, my workouts got so much better um everything just started getting better so that kind of brought me into you know my questions were basically like as far as reverse dieting am i going too slow should i be eating a lot more than i even am um, i'm somebody that works out five to six days a week an, an hour of, of just straight lifting um and then that brings me to my next question is am i even working out the correct way for my body at this point well how how is your progress uh, in the gym are you getting stronger yeah, and especially just in this last, like, just since I, I up my calories, like, everything's just gotten a lot stronger. I feel a lot better. Um, my energy's a lot better. Um, Anthony, like I said, but, but for some reason, I lost weight still. So. Anthony, if you're, if, you're, if you're getting stronger and your weight is staying the same or going down, you are, you're building muscle and getting leaner, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah and that's what, so that's what has happened. That's fire. Way, is that you're, you increase calories, you built muscle, that sped up your metabolism, meaning now your body wants more calories. And right. so just keep doing that incrementally. I think you're doing, um, I would love to, I would love to put you on one of our programs yeah. just cause we're kind of good at that. Um, and if, you know, not to say that what you're doing is wrong, but I think that if we set you up with something, I think between that and what you're doing reverse dieting, I think you're going to see tremendous results. Great combo. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the, yeah, no, that's tell me a little bit about the way you do these training. I see it's a training split. It looks like upper body chest shoulders and then you do like a which, tell me a little bit about your split so i know what program i think we're yeah so do. so for like the for like the first like probably eight months i was like exactly what you guys call like the, the bro lifter like i would just go in and do i would just smash chest for an hour and then the next day i would smash back for an hour you know mm -hmm. and uh and I, and I would just do like tons of different sets like way over the top probably way too much and then i got to the point where i was like all right i'm gonna start doing like some type of splits and, and i started doing like chest shoulders and triceps one day and but i was still I still was probably doing like way more sets of each thing than I necessarily needed to. Um, and then I would do back buys and traps and then I would go into legs and stuff like that. Um, and then since listening to you guys, like I've been adding in a couple of, uh, so I'll start my week off with a full body workout and then I'll do a chest split with the shoulders and the tries and then I'll do the back and the buys and then I'll do a leg day and then I'll jump back into a full body kind of workout routine and then oh, give, you know usually take the weekends off and you're getting and you're getting stronger um, and you're getting stronger well, like and I improving. Said, I, yeah i'm definitely getting stronger and, and, I, and i and that's my issue is like 
I, I, I have this horrible, like, and I know it's wrong, but I have this like mental block that like, if I, if I'm in the gym for an hour and I don't feel like, I feel like I can keep going. I'm like, Oh, I didn't do enough. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah. and I know that's actually wrong, but I have that hard time of being like, okay, like I, I'm, I'm overdoing it. And I kind of felt yesterday for the first time, like that I might've been like going a little bit too hard. Cause it was like, you know, my, my calories are up. I, it was the first day, first time in a while that I've kind of felt like, Oh, I don't really want to be here, but I kind of pushed through it. I just did like a really, really light weight workout and like just lifted slow and kind of concentrated on like the movements more. Anthony, this bit the, dramatic. The, uh, bro, we're looking at a picture. Said, Hold on a second. The picture you sent us is that recent? Yeah, that was a couple days ago. Yeah, yeah bro, you're Jack. <laughs> bro, you're Jack. <laughs> you're Jack, dude. Are you na Are you na You train naturally? You no, he's, on, I ask he's you? on TRT. Um, you're so on TRT, right? I, I, yeah, I put in that. Yeah, my my levels when I first started getting back to the gym, like they were just like incredibly low. I went to the doctor and they were like, "You definitely need to be honest." So, so I do TRT, um, and it you know definitely changed everything about like my energy and just like it made me like honestly like I, I was just like wasn't sure about it but like since doing it like even just being a husband and a father like around the house like I just feel so much better you know so yeah. like I was like all right, all right. I'll yeah. I got that, a pro you know? I got a program for you let's go maps anabolic advanced I think you'll love that program okay. you obviously can handle yeah. the volume the intensity so I'll send you that program and that'll 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 you'll like it and I would bump your okay. calories again. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go up another three hundred yep. calories. That, so yep. where you're at, I'm looking at your physique right now. You're in a great place. And Bro. the goal now is literally. So it's going to sound crazy, but the goal is uh, where I want you to be is to be able to do less work and eat more calories and maintain that physique. And that's that right. is possible. I can keep you looking that good, increase your okay. calories significantly more, and have you doing probably half the work you're doing right now. So that's the goal. Yeah. The goal should be that. So not how much can, of a beating you can take in your workouts. It's more like, can I slowly keep increasing these calories while backing off the amount of hammering myself and, and continue to maintain this physique? Like, that is possible. Yeah, you do MAPS Anabolic Advanced okay. with a with a 300-calorie bump. You're gonna you're probably going to put another yeah. five pounds of lean body mass on. Yeah, you're doing good, bro. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I know, because like since listening to you guys, like I, I definitely was somebody that like, neglected um doing like bar squats and uh like deadlifts mostly because i had a, a back injury when i was completely out of shape but like i feel great now but i'm like you know the more i hear you guys talk about it, the more i'm doing it and like I'm, i feel really strong in every way and then i do those exercises i'm like oh i'm not, I'm not that strong but but i'm just trying to really like learn those routines like that's good yeah bro take, take your time with that right yeah now. that's oh, a, perfect that, bro that's yeah. exciting jesus you, christ you're, you're, not, you're not good at those lifts so much potential it, yeah you're gonna you're gonna put to more than five pounds that, of lean yeah. body yeah, i'm gonna i'm gonna add that to the goal right is to just be a good deadlifter like yeah like that's the other goal i'm gonna add to what i just said originally to you is like yeah. if you do take the things the i said down and focus on that and get just good at deadlifting watch the gains you're gonna get just from yeah. that and training that way yeah so. yeah 300 calorie surplus follow anabolic advanced uh i predict by the end of it five at least five pounds of lean body mass. Okay. And so my only other question would be like, as far as, as far as that program, um, so the gym I work out, they don't, they only have a Smith machine. Like, is it doable to do this stuff on a Smith machine or should I go to a new gym? Uh, is it, is it feasible for you to go to a new gym? Yeah. I mean, it's more just convenience. Like I got young kids and you know, yeah. I already feel guilty, like leaving my wife home with, with our kids. So like, I try to make it as, as, um, you know, as quick and, and, but whatever. At the end of the day, like it's not going to make. Like, yeah, I can change gyms. That's yeah, what I, 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 I think. It would, I mean, you could substitute exercises, okay? But um, you know, you know, deadlifting, barbell squatting without a Smith machine, it's a different exercise. Yeah, yeah, right. I would either do it's that or thing. literally invest in just a barbell and some plates so you could deadlift at home because yeah. that's all you need. Okay. Yep. So yeah. yeah. So that's also a possibility. Like, I, so I have like a, a real basic setup at my house, but I still have a gym membership. So sometimes I'll just do my squatting and deadlifting yep, at home, yep. but then I'll do my other, you know, yeah. machine exercise exercises, all that bullshit. I'll do at the gym. But it, yeah. so that's not a bad investment, and it's not crazy ridiculous yeah, just to get a bar, barbell and stuff. No, that's worth. It. I actually was thinking about that because my wife's due with our third kid in in a couple of weeks, and I kind of felt like I'm probably not going to be leaving the house as much. So maybe oh, maybe yeah. that's oh, a good yeah. time That'll for me to really bro. Check out life so saver, life go saver, go yeah. to go to mindpumppartners.com. Scroll down to okay. P, scroll down. So mindpumppartners.com. We'll send you the link, and then yeah. scroll okay. down to PRX. PRX makes a sick 
thing that you can like hang on your wall. So you can literally still park your cars in the garage. You can still have all this space. It's a squat it. rack that folds into the wall, yeah, and it's yeah. it's, so. it's it's more. Oh, yeah, stable. Yeah, I know what it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, you'll yeah. like it. And they do a thing on there to where it's like payment plans, like a gym, and they compare it to a gym membership. So like they're literally like buy all this equipment, and you'll pay your monthly payments just like you're having a gym membership, and now you have your gym in your house. Right. And then it gets paid right, off, right, and then right. you're done. So yeah. that that's if you did the whole gym. But even if you just did the barbell and weights, they have a sick ass thing that the barbell and the weights go in the wall, so it's like super clean inside your garage. Yeah. You it's, nice. It's, okay. You got what is this baby number three coming? Yeah, my third daughter. Oh, oh three, three girls. girls. Oh, man, three girls. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know what that means, right? You know, you know, you know what that means? It means you were probably a playboy when you're in your in your single. Yeah. Why does God, do, <laughs> God does that a little bit? Isn't man. that crazy? Is that yeah. every one yeah, of every is. one of my boys that was a playboy has got three girls? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why I gotta get. That's why I gotta get into good shape. Because when that first guy comes knocking on my door that's to take right. my daughter, that's out, I right. Be like, yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I know, guy. Let's go. Hey, right hey, daughters are the best, man. God bless yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, appreciate it. All you right, got Anthony. It. All right, uh, Anthony. And so, just my last quick thing was like the only thing I felt like I I I lack in progress in like for the amount of chest I do. I feel like everything's growing, but I I have a hard time seeing like the improvements of my chest getting bigger. Do you think just by doing this new program, like I'm that's just not even going to be? Yeah, the, like, yeah. I, don't need to... let, I think so. Yeah, okay. let, let's stick with that now. And then if you're still yeah. feeling that way after this program, hit us back yeah. up, and then we'll talk about what to do. Run next. it all the way through and see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, Anthony. Yeah. All right, man. All right, appreciate it, guys. Yeah. Talk to you later. All right, bye. What a transformation pick. Dude. I know. He pulled Super out. Super impressive. I was like, bro, he's yeah. well, you, could, you know, you just see his face, you know, but yeah. the transfer, and he said he's, he weighed the same. Well, and, I, I mean, know. holy That's, shit. Yeah. And he and he said he lost 60 pounds right over the last Talk year. So I was, I, was ex I was expecting him to kind of have that look of somebody who just lost 60 yeah. pounds. You well, because then there was another before and after where it looked like he had lost the weight and then he started lifting. Yeah. And he built a ton of muscle and lost more body fat. Yeah. That's incredible. It's all there, man. Yeah, yeah incredible. I mean, you know, and the fact that he can handle what he's doing now and he's improving. You bump the calories, do anabolic advantage. He's going to, I said five pounds, but I wouldn't be surprised if you put more on. No, no. He'll probably put Lean more body on. Lean body mass. Yeah. Thank you.